come back to me, Steffi. Quinn's never gonna stop. She's never gonna change. And Wyatt is guilty in this too, by the way. How many times have you asked him, begged him, to keep her away from you? And how many times has he failed you? Come home to me. I don't know what my mom was thinking. She made it sound like there was something genuine, something mutual going on. And given my mom's history, I... It's the truth. I don't think you understand, Eric. I... She made it sound like you two were a couple. Is that something you'd object to? Tell me exactly what Steffi said. That Quinn was in Monte Carlo. To be with Eric. She followed him there. Steffi sounded really upset. I'm upset. What did Dad get himself into now? Steffi tell you? We didn't talk for very long. She just said that she couldn't handle much more of this. Of course you can't handle it. Look at what, what Quinn did to Liam. Now she's after my dad? <sighs> I heard that there was something that maybe he's dating somebody, but come on, Quinn? Quinn Fuller, great. Quinn, I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for pushing me to take CEO back. It's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. I wish... I miss you too, Quinn. Expecting that. You and my mother? No, I can't say that I was. I care about her, Wyatt. Yeah, I could see that. Look, Eric, Steffi's really freaking out about this whole thing. Well, she doesn't have to. I mean, this thing with your mother is quite natural. It happened, it happened out of nowhere. Just two people getting to know each other, enjoying each other. We've really enjoyed it. But it's over now. It has to be for Steffi's sake. You understand what Quinn is capable of, so just walk away from her. And, and Wyatt. Because you know it's only a matter of time before Eric or, or somebody else you love gets hurt, before you get hurt. You think I'm gonna wait around for that to happen? This is it, Steffi. Monte Carlo. This moment, this is where you leave your marriage and you come back to me. <sighs> Nothing. She's not answering her phone. I think it must be off. Damn it. Do you want me to call Granddad or no. something? No. I want to talk to him in person. I don't get it. Why is he interested in Quinn? Because she was playing him. She saw an opening and she swooped in. I wasn't paying attention. 
none of us were paying attention. That's what Steffi was worried about. What? She was worried about what? Th that they were gonna get together, Quinn and Granddad? No, she was as shocked about that as we were. She was afraid of Quinn just sneaking into our lives. She told Quinn to stay away from her and our family. Obviously, Quinn didn't listen. That is, it's like she said. You know, she doesn't know how much more of this that she can take. And I don't think she's just referring to Quinn. I think she's talking about her marriage. You ended things? I had to, Wyatt. Steffi's my granddaughter. She has to come first. You really care about my mother, huh? Yes. I see the good in her. I know you do, too. That's why I always end up forgiving her. She can't be all that bad, right? She raised me. Hmm. She did a good job, too. For the most part. That, right. <laughs> She's a good mother. A terrific businesswoman. She started that jewelry business from nothing. Had a lot of challenges along the way. She made some bad choices along the way, too. But she's changed, Wyatt. I can see that. Yeah, but from Steffi's point of view, the fact that she was with you in the first place, it, it shows us that she hasn't. If she was targeting you... That's not what happened. It's not what happened at all. She came to me asking for her job back. And we got talking. And we began to enjoy each other. It was mutual, Wyatt. Nothing malicious about it. Just two people connecting, all right? I told all this to Steffi, but she wouldn't listen. She's too upset. Trust me, I am well aware of that. Quinn coming here, being with me, I don't want that to cause trouble between you and Steffi. Think about where you'd be right now if it weren't for Quinn. This... This tattoo, this is not a reminder of your commitment to Wyatt. It's a mark of deceit. Quinn may as well have branded you herself. <laughs> it's time to make it right, Steffi. It's time to come back to me, to our home, to our life together. I know you want this as much as I do. Maybe Quinn and Granddad is a good thing. Are you nuts? What's, what's possibly good about that? It, it might help Steffi realize how she really feels about this marriage with Wyatt. Steffi knows how she feels. She's gonna stick with the marriage. No, no, no. That was before Quinn started ignoring everything that she said. Let's face it. Steffi is with Wyatt because she thought that Liam completely abandoned her. It's true. They're together right now because of what Quinn did to Liam. They're together right now because your sister loves Wyatt. Sure. But compared to how she feels about Liam, I just can't help but feel that Quinn is ruining this for her son. How? By being with my dad? Exactly. Quinn is just ignoring everything that Steffi told her to do. I think this could be the final straw that pushes her back to Liam. I'm never going to forget our night in Monte Carlo. Quinn. 
never. Trouble for Steffi and me? Guess that remains to be seen. Your mother doesn't want to hurt your marriage. I hope you understand that. Oh, I know. She never does. I don't either, why? I mean, the, the thought of hurting Steffi just... That's why this has to be over, as much as I hate that. Look, I have to do what's best for Steffi and for the family, all right? Especially the two of you, you're... You're newlyweds. I don't want to cause any trouble in your marriage. And my mother understood that? She didn't try convincing you to keep things going? She understands. She's not gonna cause any more trouble for Steffi. Good. Because Steffi said she's had about all she could take. And I hate to say it, but I can't exactly blame her. Why, it's my husband. Manipulated or not. You'll always care about him, I know that, but is he the man you want by your side? To grow old with, to have kids with? No, Steffi, that's me. Liam, even if that were true. It is true. It is true. I made a commitment. You made a mistake. So move out, get a divorce, do whatever you have to do, but you know you wouldn't be married to him if his mother hadn't kidnapped me. She should be in prison. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't change what happened. Are you staying in this marriage? Liam, if I could go back. You can go back. You can go back. You can erase it all, Steffi. You can put this whole ridiculous thing behind you. Do it. Do it now. appreciate you and my mother doing this. Breaking it off. Yeah. I mean, I can see that this couldn't be easy for either of you, and, and I can see how much you care about my mother. Yeah. A big part of me wishes it wasn't over. Eric, please, it has to be. No, I know, I know. For my marriage, Steffi could I know, I know. I told Quinn that. I told her family has to come first, and Steffi's been through enough. I find it kind of hard to believe that my mother would just accept it. When she gets an idea in her head, she, she will not let that go. Why, I'm telling you, your mother has changed. She accepted this when I said it had to be done for me. She did it for my benefit. She said she won't bother me again. Well, I, I should, I should go and let you process this, but thank you. I mean, I, I'm always, I'll always be grateful. You be sure to tell your mother that. I will. Wyatt. Yeah. You're lucky to have her. And sometimes I really do believe that. I hope everything's okay with you and Steffi. Yeah. You and me both. I never imagined that I would be back here at Forrester. And to be here in your arms, it's even better. You're saving me. I appreciate you. I wouldn't be here if you didn't.
Once again, we do request that you please return to your seats and make sure that your seatbelt are securely fastened. Thank you. Do you think this will make Steffi leave? Why? I would be surprised if it didn't. Because Quinn wants to be with my dad. It's nothing to do with Steffi. Oh, why? Sure it does. Quinn is blatantly ignoring everything that Steffi is telling her to do. It has nothing to do with that. This is about money, about job security, about the Forrester bank account. Nothing to do with Steffi. This is about Quinn and Quinn alone. You're probably right. But this is all going to backfire. Because if there is anything that would make Steffi give up on her marriage with Wyatt and go back to Liam, this would be it. I am so done with Quinn and her lunatic behavior. I know she's your mother, Wyatt, but if she goes anywhere near my family or Forrester ever again, Look at what she's done to you, me, Liam. And now she targets my grandfather? It's all Quinn's doing. I don't know how much more I can take, Wyatt. Steffi, don't you want a life without Quinn? Of course. Without her craziness? You think this is working? I... Crying all the time, living like this? No, no. Why it's gonna demand that, that she stays away? That's Steffi. That is what he demands every time, and every time it doesn't work. Look what she did with your grandfather. No, but that's that's over. That's over. How? I'll make sure how, that... how is that? How are you gonna make sure of that? I Nobody. No! I don't know! He'll, he'll, he'll tell her to, to move away, whatever it takes. I don't know. Listen to me, here's what it takes. You get out. You leave him and you get out and you move on because every minute that you stay in this marriage, you make yourself vulnerable to Steph, if anything happened to you, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I can't let it, okay? I need to be the one protecting you the way he hasn't. I need to love you the way he hasn't. You have, you have honored this ridiculous marriage long enough. Come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me.